What you're about to see is a short work-in-progress preview of Dead Island 2 gameplay and just a glimpse of the wider epic pulp adventure spanning the undead streets of LA. Our journey starts in Bel Air, just a few hours after the introduction of the game. Infected, but somehow immune to the zombie virus, our immediate goal is to reach the authorities at the Halperin Hotel, an evac center south of here in Beverly Hills. Evac center this way. Halperin Hotel, get my suite ready. Between our roster of six slayers, we've selected Danny, <gasps> a foul mouthed brawler from Ireland with a twisted sense of humor. She's a tenacious yet balanced character, well suited to an agile style of combat. Staying mobile and waiting for your moment to strike will be key to survival with this playstyle. Hit and stuff solves everything. Each of our slayers have different personalities, stats, and starting abilities. But thanks to our flexible skill system, you can personalize their fighting style in any way you see fit. Let's pause a second. Thanks to our revolutionary dismemberment technology called flesh, crushing bones, slicing muscles, and melting zombies will always look bloody and feel spectacular. This realistic locational damage is not only for show, but will allow players to strategically target the individual weaknesses of different deadly foes. Despite the outbreak, our world is alive and kicking with oddball survivors and crazy oh. side quests to complete. Are you still out there? Hey, can you hear me? Blasted. Hello? Don't run away. We need to help each other. Let's ignore this request for now and continue towards the Halperin Hotel. I should check my map. All these streets look the same. The road to Beverly Hills is just beyond that mansion. Not one to pass up a shortcut. Seems like we have enough firepower, but we should be careful nonetheless. Sometimes it's best to choose when and when not to engage. So let's try to find some shelter. If you feel the urge to fight though, our world is filled with tons of exciting weapons, each with their own unique and brutal fighting style. For some satisfying dismemberment, bladed weapons are always king. And thanks to our flesh system, cutting through zombies with your katana feels as smooth as slicing butter. For some tactical crowd control, look no further than strong, heavy tools like a sledgehammer. Blunt weapons like this are perfect for crushing bones and clearing a path. Alongside a copious amount of melee weapons, guns offer a powerful addition to your arsenal, capable of slaying long-range targets and triggering deadly traps and explosions. Just be careful not to waste too many bullets while you're having fun. Okay, back on track to get to this hotel of theirs. Smells like me ma's boiled stew. 
We found the evac checkpoint. The road to Beverly Hills is just up ahead. Things are about to get a lot rougher, so we should upgrade our weapons and equip ourselves for the challenges ahead. With workbenches scattered all over Los Angeles, players can retrofit their tools with DIY mods and perks, creating the most obnoxiously crazy weapons. From flaming katanas to electrified daggers and exploding hammers, the possibilities are endless, and the outcome always bloody. Like most of the districts in LA, there are multiple pathways we can take to reach our destination. With challenges to unlock, characters to meet, and stashes to uncover, venturing off the beaten path has its benefits. Sounds like someone's having a party. Let's check it out. Hello? Uh, sorry, zombie. Party's over. Not a zombie, just... Is there a pizza? Hey, do you have pizza? Of course I do. Now let us in. Uh, yeah. Well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Then why have you left the gate wide open? Oh, yeah. Well, we're having this big party, right? And some of the guys, not, not me, were riding on a gate, and, and, and it broke. Now, there's a whole bunch of spares in the garage, but it's, like, full of riffraff. Fine. I'll give closing it a lash. Oh, killer! I'll hit the garage button, you bounce the party crashers and fix things up, and then, dude, Mikasa is, is, uh, your casa. Hey, Roxy! We got company! Find your jeans! Oh. We've agreed to fix the Rockstar's gig. Time to go to work. Hell yeah! Fighting music. I can jam to this. With dozens of deadly zombie types, each undead archetype you encounter presents a unique challenge with different strengths and weaknesses to overcome. Okay, okay, okay. This has been fun, boys, but I should close that gate now. Circuit breaker. This will work. <laughs> to better face this zombie horde, we expanded the equipment at the player's disposal. Curveballs are a brand new, exciting addition, offering both lethal and tactical advantages. Take Meat Bait, for example. A nasty sack of blood and guts that can draw zombies away from you. Perfect for some gruesome distraction. Perfect face. Ricky! Not now, babe, please! Ugh, oh, genius. Oh, hey, were you getting the pizza? Or were you fighting zombies in the yard? Feeding pizza to the zombies. Oh, right. You say pizza? Right. No pizza. Sorry, man. Big evacuation party, you know. Oh, shit! We gotta get to the evac! Roxy! Roxy, hey! We should get back on track to the evac center. From the iconic Hollywood Hills and Venice Beach to the A-lister mansions in Santa Monica and Bel Air neighborhoods, our story takes players on an epic roller coaster ride through LA's most iconic, vibrant landmarks. The Halperin Hotel is just down the valley. Occupied by the now undead military and ravaged by massive earthquakes and wildfires, the hotel is now a powder keg. Lucky for us, though, we've introduced a powerful set of skill cards that enhance Slayer abilities to help level the playing field. What's more, players can swap and combine them 
tailoring their playstyle to suit any scenario. The Halperin Hotel. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> Quiet, isn't it? We've decided to adjust Danny's build to better resist close quarter attacks and deal slow but powerful damage. In Dead Island 2, your environment is also another resource to exploit in your quest for survival. From car batteries to gas canisters and acid spills, chaining elemental effects like electricity, fire, and caustic acid is just another way to wreak havoc on the dead. While locked at this stage in the game, by tapping into your corrupted DNA, you'll be able to unleash deadly mutations and explosive abilities that mimic the powers of the undead. We call this Fury Mode. With the military all but gone, we need to find another way to contact the authorities. While scavenging for resources, we'll have to face new and unexpected zombie encounters. What's a little fire, eh? I'm sure I can find something to put it out. In Dead Island 2, you'll face more than simple walkers. These deadly and challenging mutations pose unique threats. Beyond the dozens of grotesque variants in LA, Apex are hyper-mutated zombies that pose terrifying challenges with unique powers and behaviors. And our standard zombies come in all sorts of unexpected variants. With the fire extinguished, our hotel excursion ends with Danny discovering a functioning military radio. Breaker, Breaker, can anyone hear me? I hear you. I'm Dr. Reed. Unaware that another sinister and quite unique encounter is waiting in the dark. Doctor, I'll need to be putting me on hold for just a moment. Hey, wait! I need you! You have to get here! Hello? Our behind-the-scenes preview has come to an end, but with so much more to show you in the coming months, we hope you enjoyed this small snippet of Dead Island 2. See you in L.A., Slayers!